Hey, are you looking for ideas for a romantic day night or for Valentine dinner? Well, today I'm gonna share a couple restaurants that I love and a few ideas you can still be romantic at home. Coming up. I am Regina Chen. I'm your local real estate agent right here in Irvine, California. Well, we are in February. Are you ready for Valentine's Day? Uh, there are a couple restaurants that I like. I think it's nice to always spend a long time with your loved one. And if you're busy parents like me, I would also share some ideas that maybe just make it simple because we have to, you know, take, take care of the little one, the bedtime and all that. We can order some stuff, still celebrate in a special way. Well, the first restaurant Restaurant, you probably uh, see it in my other video. I would say that's probably my favorite seafood and steakhouse. It's Eddie V. I mean, technically, it's in Newport, but it's not that far from Irvine. I always like to go there for the special occasion, and I'm gonna show you why. Okay, so don't just take it from me. I want to show you Eddie V's Prime Seafoods, their profile on Yelp. It has more than 1800 reviews, and it's four and five star obviously uh look at the price point it's not like the everyday go-to restaurant but like i said special occasion and their the quality of food and their service i think is totally worth it all right just give you a uh, peak view i mean overall it's a very the decor wise very private high end we're sitting at the leather booth and uh star it feels intimate i mean it's very more adult like it doesn't feel like it's not like a family steakhouse but okay so i love their seafood i tried their scallop it's so juicy so good uh even though they're famous and that the, this lobster and their steak my husband had the steak we're all very happy and apart from the food, I want to say their drinks is very uh, spectacular too. My husband ordered something like, uh, oh, and the, don't forget that dessert too. So the food definitely good. I love my seafood. My husband is happy with his steak and I love their drink. They have the table service drink that I guess nowadays is pretty popular. It's not unique to Eddie V, but I think they did a good job. They, my husband is into whiskey, so they use, they bring a piece of boar. I forgot what kind of wood. I mean, but to me, they're all the woods the same, but they lit it up and uh, put the piece of a wood plank on top of the whiskey, uh, the highball, the drink to give that, uh, aroma so it's very it's just really good service it's like an old school very attend uh, but not too much like over bearing over you all the time i just enjoy their service and like i said the table side drink making is also very entertaining um I definitely highly recommend for your like, anniversary night or your uh, date night or even for Valentine. So now we have seafood and steak. Next, let's change it up. I like Asian food. Uh, next one, I want to talk about a Vietnamese, but it's very contemporary style of Vietnamese uh, restaurant. It's called Little Sister, located in the Irvine Spectrum Center. Let's check out Little Sister's profile on Yelp. Yelp is my go-to place. Probably is yours too. So they have uh, about 549 reviews. Uh, the start is a tad lower, three and a half percent. You can probably go read there. Uh, why people give it like less start. But personally, I feel like it's refreshing, especially in Irvine, because Irvine is very family-oriented. It's uh, very hard to combine. Uh, come by uh, like a restaurant kind of a hip contemporary and little sister is one of those rare find they put uh, like a east meets west and put in a, a like a modern twist to a um asian or vietnamese restaurant because most of the time when i go to when i'm craving for vietnamese food i'm taking my kids to the third place you don't have those fancy bars and let me show you what i meant if you haven't been there yet let's take a look so here as you enter in it you'll see this bar here and i like they utilize the space to store their alcohol um they also have outdoor area and they have all the window treatment i just think i just i like it and i like it to go there without kids so i can appreciate all those details <laughs> instead of busy like clean up their mess i love my kids don't get me wrong Okay, so let's give you an idea what it looks like. Next, I think I find some video to show you in terms of food as well. So this is the outside. Like I mentioned, they have to have the cute, the nice outdoor sitting area. They're 
tacos and you know they just put their uh, twist and modern twist to the traditional Vietnamese food most of the foods are so good love it so much we order a bunch like it there but I would say that's not the place to take your kids to eat the pho because it's it's not <laughs> I don't think the kids uh, <clears throat> appreciate the differences and then actually at least my kids they don't they're less conservative they want like simple familiar food they're not willing to try out those new like fusion stuff but I think as parents as adults you'll enjoy it their creativity mm. the spin they put on those food a after you finish the dinner it's nice to take a night walk around Irvine Spectrum Center that's when all the Ferris wheels are lit up and this location is pretty, pretty close to Apple store too so it's like a lit up a big almost like a fish tank everything is like an orange box so that will be my recommendation if you're in the mood for some Asian food on New Year's Day or on your uh, romantic date night. Well, while we're still in Irvine Spectrum Center, there's another restaurant that I like. It's an Italian restaurant. Let's check out their Yelp profile first. So the Italian restaurant that I love inside Irvine Spectrum Center is Cucina in Notica. I don't know, that's my best... Uh, uh, Italian I can do uh, but you can see they have over 2400 reviews average four stars I want to show you let's start to show you uh, their inside and outside they also have very you have the option to sit on their patio it's well decorated overlooking a long area let's take a look <clears throat> So if you're familiar with the Irvine Spectrum, so that's between that's the grass area I'm talking about. You are overlooking the uh, the theater. They have outdoor settings, very cute and cozy. And you see they decorate the trees. So at night, it's very, very cute, very romantic. I like it a lot. Okay. If it's too chilly for you to sit inside, they have indoor sitting for sure. Let's take another look. <clears throat> They had good wine selection as well. Go. It's cute. They they put that uh, I don't know what you call it the the shoes expander like to hold the I guess the Italians are famous for their shoes making. That's why uh, they have that uh, decoration there. I find it's very cute. Nice touch. I like the those chair floral chairs. And here's a little video clipping I found online so we can have a more flowy feel of the whole restaurant. This is their main chef. I mean, whenever I go there, I always ask for a recommendation. Sometimes I have some seasonal items, but I love their bread. You make sure you order that dip. I forgot what it's called. And their service is always good. So I think that would be another good choice uh, for date night inside Irvine Spectrum Center. Next one, considering how much I love sushi, sashimi, it has to be a sushi place. And you probably see my other video, I talk about this one. My favorite sushi place around Irvine is Utoro. All right, again, we're on the Yelp profile, Utoro. Utoro actually is a chain, they have several. I believe they have some in Walnut or Diamond Bar. Uh, today I'm reviewing or recommending the one in Irvine. So they have 615 review, four star. Uh, please take a note, the, the, the restaurant here, they're famous for their quality for the fish. So for the best quality, I think that's the best quality of uh, sashimi I have. You pay for the best or highest price. So it is the four star restaurant. All right, hey, but it's a Valentine uh, for special date nights, once at, uh, in a time occasion, so probably it's just viable. I'll let you be the judge. I would say that uh, Utoro is located in closer to the business district of Irvine. Uh, it's in a mall with other famous or uh, popular ramen store. There's a food court, there's a boba place around there, but you don't come here for the decoration. I mean, it's not bad. I just want to let you know it's in the business district. Let's take a look at those picture on Yelp. So this is on the outside. Okay, I want to Oh, that's when they have the outdoor dining during the uh, when the pandemic is it's worse than now. Give you an idea of the inside. Like I said, um, it's 
it's a decent decor. It's a contem like more contemporary, like a sushi sashimi place. You have the sushi bar sitting in front of the sushi chef, but and they also have like a good selection of sake, other alcohol. You come here for the quality of fish. I mean, it's not like bad or noisy, but their selling point is the their excellent quality of meat. So it's hard to convey that over uh, video or picture time. But I do find a video. I just want to show you the overall experience, what it's like. All right, so we're inside with Toto. They have actually don't have a lot of seats. Okay, that's their main shift. But it's just amazing how fresh their seafood are. Another more economic choice is that if you don't want to spend like a cost like a, a lot on your wallet, hard on your wallet, you can also come over during their lunch time. Their lunch special, you get to um, enjoy how good the quality of the food is, but at a very small fraction of the dinner price. All right, so that's all total. I, I know it's it's hard to, maybe it's a better idea. If you're like, oh, I'm not sure I want to spend like hundred of dollars on a date night. Maybe try to do a lunch date then. That would be my recommendation, but make sure you get there early. I think they start taking a uh, customer around 1130. So you want to be there like 11, 11-ish. That way you can get in time. Otherwise, there's normally always a wait for it. And I always get the Chirashi bowl because that way, or you can, I, I try Chirashi bowl or a sashimi set. That way you get to sample different kind of fish, you know what you like, and you can, you you have to try it so you know what I'm talking about. I think the quality is unbeatable. Ooh, Toto, I really love it. <laughs> if you don't like it, leave a comment and um, I'll, I'll take a blend. Even if you don't like the fish, but maybe let me know, what do you think of the fish quality? Or you find a better uh, sushi sashimi place, let me know. All right, next we're gonna talk about a different option. If you're busy like me, you know, tied up with little ones that you can't really go out to dine out or, you know, make arrangements with babysitter and all that, you can still order like really nice food, romantic food, can have a, a romantic night at home. I'm gonna send you share with two ideas. All right, so the first one I wanna share with you an idea is that uh, it's called, now it's really in trend. I don't know if you notice on social media or even among my friends, everybody's very into the cheese plate, but the fancier name is called charcuterie. Do I pronounce it right? But it becomes like a art form too. They make it not only it's tasty, yummy, and so pretty, and there's so variation, so many, much uh, creativity into it. Today, I wanna introduce you a local business owner. The brand is called uh, Grace Plates. Right now, we are on Instagram. Uh, that's nowadays, a lot of a local uh, small business, they utilize this platform to uh, get make themselves known or you know interact with their clients. So this one is my favorite, Grace Plates. Uh, they already have like 1,500 followers, and the owner Bryn is also our uh, parents in West Park. So I I know uh, Bryn so so proud of her. I just want to show you all his her work is so nice and good. So I think this is the one of like Chinese uh, Lunar New Year's uh, her creation. So he tried to tie it up, make it more fun, and mix up with different kind of a uh, cracker, fruit, and cheeses. Cause Brin actually come from a cheese she used to be in the corporate world doing uh, a cheese related job, and now she utilized her experience and know how come up with his own like is doing his bus own business, and she's doing great. I just want to show you. I love this idea. Like they tie in with all the theme, the Valentine themes, and um, it's just so pretty. There's so many variation. She also does catering like this, which is really amazing. That's what I want to tell you that. I think this is such an awesome idea. No matter that it could be for holiday or it could be family gathering or even for a corporate event. I just think that it's so impressive and you, you, I, I'm planning to do one for myself so I can get all the credit of you because I, I love it. I love her works. Okay. So bring it back to the, uh, date night or Valentine, uh, 
dinner. So if you're busy, cannot go out, I think it's a nice, a sweet gesture just to, you know, do still try to do something special for your loved one. Do your more intimate、uh, celebration at home. So that's one of my ideas for you to surprise your loved one. Send a Valentine's Day theme.、Uh, you guys can, you know, just. Period with your favorite wine and just take it easy. Watch a movie.、Um, I love Grace Place. I think it's a great idea for the romantic day. Next at home, Dana idea is a sushi delivery service.、Um, it's not just a restaurant they'll deliver to you. I know a lot of sushi restaurants do that. This is a place they only do sushi delivery. There's no dine-in option at all. So let's take a look. All right, so this is their Yelp profile. It's called Sherry Nori. They have、uh, almost like 500 reviews. Well, let's go right in to see what they have to offer. What's the hype about? Full disclosure, personally, I haven't ordered it. The only time I want to order it, it's a Monday, but that's their day off. So that no, no、uh, Sherry Nori on Monday. Just FYI. So I'm desperately wanted to try this because I have so many friends. They all. Uh, really like it. It's so pretty, and the quality is so fresh, so good. Even like、um, their kids all, all like it too. Just look how pretty it is. That's why I feel the presentation is awesome. It's a great fit for your romantic date night at home, or for your Valentine at home. Just look at all those details. It's so cute. They have their own small cake. With their、uh, brand name, like Burn On. They also offer omakase, so you just pretty much let them pick what's the fresh、um, in-store、uh, fish for you. Just looks so neat, so pretty. Oh, I love sushi. So that's the Sherry Nori sushi delivery. Remember, it's deliver only. They don't have a dining sit-down area for you to eat there, and also they are closed on Monday. All right, guys. So that's my recommendation. Some idea for you、uh, to have a romantic date night with your loved one. I want to say that, again, it's Regina Chen. I am your local real estate agent in Irvine, California. Wish you a happy Valentine's Day.